If you like chocolate peanut butter cups, you'll love this cake. Rich chocolate buttercream is sandwiched between three layers of moist, not too sweet, chocolate cake and covered with creamy peanut butter frosting, topped with chocolate peanut butter swirls and homemade chocolate peanut butter cups. This recipe has several parts to it, but if you follow this order, you won't spend all day in the kitchen. This cake uses my perfect chocolate cake batter, which is my absolute favourite chocolate cake. It's moist, not too sweet, and easy to make. You'll find the full recipe on BritishGirlBakes.com with conversions for different sizes. Divide the cake batter between three cake pans and bake until the cakes don't wobble when you shake the pans. Leave the cake layers in the pans for 10 minutes to cool and firm up slightly, and then turn the cakes out onto a wire cooling rack. While the cakes are cooling, make your peanut butter cups. The only ingredients for these are chocolate chips, peanut butter, and powdered sugar. To melt the chocolate chips, use short intervals of 30 seconds at a time in the microwave and choose 70% power to prevent overheating the chocolate. Stir the chocolate until it's smooth. Line a mini cupcake pan with mini cupcake wrappers, which will make the peanut butter cups easiest to remove from the pan after they set. Use two spoons to fill the cupcake wrappers about a quarter full with melted chocolate. You want a thin layer of chocolate that covers the base of the wrappers. If the chocolate is very thick, it will be difficult to bite into. To sweeten the peanut butter, stir in one tablespoon of powdered sugar. You can skip this if you want your peanut butter cups to be less sweet, but if you're using semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate, the slightly sweet peanut butter filling works really well. Now spoon the peanut butter mixture into each cup. Using two spoons will make this easier because peanut butter is sticky. Cover the peanut butter with chocolate and then put the pan in the fridge for about 30 minutes until the chocolate sets. Pinch the wrappers or push down on one side to pop them out of the pan and then peel apart the wrappers to release the peanut butter cups. Set them aside until later. The filling and frosting for this cake starts with my 4 minute buttercream. Mix 1 cup of buttercream with 2 tablespoons of melted chocolate and for the rest of the buttercream stir in 3 quarters of a cup of peanut butter. Now it's time to put it all together. To assemble your cake, alternate cake layers and the chocolate buttercream. Save the leftover chocolate buttercream for later. Using peanut butter buttercream, cover the cake with a crumb coat to trap any crumbs that come off the cake. Let the crumb coat set, which takes about an hour at room temperature, or speed this up by putting the cake in the fridge for 30 minutes or the freezer for 15 minutes. Then apply a final layer of peanut butter frosting, smoothing it with a cake comb. For a really decadent finishing touch, fit a piping bag with a star-shaped piping tip, like a 1M tip. Spoon the remaining chocolate buttercream down one side of the piping bag and peanut butter buttercream down the other side. Push the buttercream down to the bottom of the bag and twist the top of the bag and then pipe swirls of two-tone frosting around the cake. You'll notice that one side of each swirl will be peanut butter buttercream and the other side will be chocolate. Press a peanut butter cup into each swirl. The weight of the peanut butter cups will push the swirls down, but you'll still be able to see the two-tone frosting. You can serve this cake immediately or refrigerate it for up to two days. It tastes best when it's at room temperature, so if you do refrigerate it, take it out of the fridge at least two hours before serving it, so that it isn't cold when you eat it. Get the full recipe on BritishGirlBakes.com with tips on how to make it in advance, and you'll also find all of my other recipes and tutorials on BritishGirlBakes.com and my cake school with online courses and membership access. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.